welcome to our cool channel. We are M3 Movies on YouTube. We talk about movies and films and stuff. Hello! Hi. Welcome to M3 Movies. I'm Jack. I'm Brian. Uh, I'm tired. Yeah, both of us are. Uh, so School welcome welcome to a nice, chill, calm episode of M3 Movies uh, oh that you can listen to. <laughs> What is that, Parks and Rec? Parks and Rec. Yeah. I should know. I've been watching that. So <laughs> um, Wait, can we talk yeah. about Leslie and Ron at some point? Yeah, 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 yeah. A couple episodes you back. You me about that, and I forgot to text <laughs> you back, because I was doing work. A couple episodes back, I was talking about how I was walking Parks and Shrek, um, <laughs> and Brian said that... Was it during the, it was during podcast? the podcast? I okay. think it was. Um, Brian I'll, I'll said that there is, there's, the, uh, there's an episode in the seventh season that was really episode good. Episode four called, called Leslie yeah. and Ron. It's the best episode of the it entire show. It is the best episode of the entire show. Oh, I got yes. to it and like I, I had forgotten that you said anything about it and then I got through it and I was like, oh, Leslie and Ron. Leslie and Ron. <laughs> Have you finished it? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm still going. Because I had to start my Stranger Things watch. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Is the is season three ever coming out? No. No. I, in June is coming out, but I just want I in wanted to June. watch the yeah no I wanted to watch the it's um, Halloween based show. Yeah, right. Isn't it weird? The first season mm. came out June too. That's bonkers. Yeah, I feel like it was smart for them to um, release. Some I think Halloween the Halloween time. vibes was a really good yeah, thing. Yeah, but them. at the same time, if they needed more time, whatever, good for them. That's no, how no, art no, works. no, no. Okay, no. rushing art is <laughs> what you need to do. Marvel. <clears throat> hmm. What? To be fair, Stranger Things. Like, come on. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it can be rushed. I don't think so. I think that show gets a I lot like more credit show. than it deserves. Eh. I used to be on the other side of this. Aiden will be mad at me because I used to fight him about this a lot, but because Aiden <laughs> said it was overrated, and I was like, "No, it's really good." And then like, Brian, you're turning into it's Aiden. marinated over the past few I want, years. I want you I'm to like, know that you're turning into. Aiden. I know I'm becoming an annoying like indie <laughs> lover who like just wants to watch a three hour like documentary. Like, oh, I just want to watch two thousand one of Space Odyssey back to back with oh, Pulp Fiction, ten that times. Like, that sounds like something Aiden would say. Yeah. Does that mean that, like, that means that, like, in the next few months, like, I'm gonna have, like, a weird move where I start liking blockbusters again, and I'm not looking forward <laughs> to it. <laughs> Does he do that? Yeah, now he, like, loves blockbusters again. Like, That's he really likes just, like, weird. sitting back and, like, having fun in a movie, and I'm just like, I, you need to think, man. <laughs> you gotta think about that bird from the Call of Duty game. Oh, God. <laughs> Throw back to an old episode. Find it. As a child. Did we talk about it in an episode? I think yeah. we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was it was his first was episode the on the show. Second episode. The second, uh, second episode. Second episode of M three movies. Oh my god, a throwback! Oh. You should go listen to it because yeah. you probably haven't. Yeah. Let's be honest here. Um, what were we talking about? An intro. Yeah, yeah, intro. Parks and Rec, though, I feel like seven seasons was good. They they found... Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of times it's hard for a TV show to end because they reach the point where they should have ended and then. The, <coughs> The like, office. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Just, and then they just kind of keep going. I just coughed and said the words "the office." Parks and Rec, I think, found that sweet spot where yeah. it doesn't get old, but they can. It doesn't. I could have like used like enough. another season or two. I'm really? Not gonna lie, I could have. Because right. I don't think they hit their stride until season three. Like I think the first two are kind of dumb. Like, I don't know. Mark is just so boring. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like well, until was... Ben and Chris show. I think Ben and Chris like somehow carry that show. Well, like they they don't, but their characters are like so just necessary. Yeah. Like, I I feel like I feel like Mark's character uh, so... was them trying to be the it was them normal trying character to get ben. and the characters. It was of. them trying to get to Ben, but they didn't get there yet. Yeah. And they couldn't really get there with Mark. They were like trying to make the gym, but they didn't make him funny enough. It was Ben minus the quirks. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It was like, we saw The Office and we're going to try to make Jim. <laughs> and then they made like the most boring version of Jim possible and cast the least charismatic actor that has ever existed. Dang, Brian. Dang. I don't know the guy's name. Which Take I feel bad that, uh, <laughs> I feel bad that I don't know the guy's name. But also, <laughs> it's whatever. He's, whatever. He's okay. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, anyway, intro. <laughs> I'm going to find um, out who else he's in while you're doing the intro. Patreon. We'll talk about our Patreon more later, I think, because uh, I don't like getting it bogged down in the beginning. Um, but if you want to help us out real quick, go to patreon.com slash m3movies to figure out what we're about and that figure out be... how you can help us. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God! 
a bet for sure. Um, also, somewhere along the same vein, but not entirely for the artist, uh, the short film that me and a couple other um, M3 movies, I guess, guests or I don't know, whatever, um, worked on. It's going to the Clifton Film Festival. Um, so if you want to check it out and support it, uh, go to filmfreeway.com slash for the artist. Uh, I want to clarify this man is in nothing. Oh, oh you're talking he's in the about... assassination of Jesse James with a character number four. I forgot about that. And Lars and the Real Girl. He is. Yeah. Oh. I knew that because I saw a clip yesterday and I was like, hey, it's that guy from oh. the Parks and Rec seasons. I want to see this movie. I've seen this movie. What, Lars and the Real Girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds interesting. It's Craig Gillespie's the... a good director. Well, sometimes. Is that... Is that um... It's going to be like Tanya. <sighs> Mm-hmm. Man after my own heart. <laughs> I love that man. I also love the finest hours. I I feel like I Tanya, it got a good amount of credit, but I didn't really get as much as it deserved. What like awards wise or just like in general? I guess yeah, but also in terms of people talking about it, there wasn't really much. Right. Yeah, it was kind of. I think a big reason for that is that it's one of it's the production company is Neon, which is a pretty um, up and coming. Yeah. Um, like it hasn't quite gotten the indie status of A twenty four yet, and it mm-hmm. hasn't gotten like a blockbuster status at That's all. That's true. So they're not very good at getting people to talk about their movies yet. Okay. Yeah. Um, I saw that at a film <laughs> festival, so I was like, "What, I tell you? Yeah, I saw yeah. that at Middleburg last year. Oh. And, That's um, what I'm oh my God, cat, shut up. Sorry, my cat is meowing right now. I love her, but damn. Shut it. Hi there, cat. Um, so I was talking about it a lot, and I know that the people around me were talking about it a lot because everybody loved it. Uh-huh. Um, but, yeah, I, I guess it wasn't, like, hugely talked about. I... I mean, Robbie got in. Janny won. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Somehow. Who do you think should have won? Lori Metcalf. I don't know. For Lady Bird? I mean, I guess. I don't think Janny does that much. I think last year was a pretty weak supporting know. actress year. What like, she's I really, really that? entertaining, but I don't think she, like, yeah. really, like, does much acting-wise. I, think she just I don't like, think so. I think she acts the hell out of that movie. Are you kidding? I mean, I think, like, she steals the show whenever she's on screen, but yeah. I don't think she's doing much. Like, I think she's... <laughs> like, I don't Are you think hearing it, yourself? Think, <laughs> <laughs> it's one-dimensional, is what I'm saying. As, like, she, kind, she has this vo- She has a voice, and she has, like, a look that she gives... And then, like, it's just, like, the words that she's saying are really funny. And, like, she's an aggressive lead character. Like, I don't think Man, she... I, don't I think, think so. she lives in that character for sure, but I don't think that character is given enough, like, depth to really be, like, to give her the chance to, like, really, like, show her acting. I don't think she acts that much. Like, watch that movie know. again, dude. I'm telling you. I've watched it a couple of times. I know, but, like... A couple of times. I don't know. I think Robbie, like, definitely deserved, like... To be talked about more oh, than she was. For sure. Um, she got outshadowed a little bit because last year was a really good actress year. Like oh. last year was. Um, uh, Shape of Water. Sersha, Shape of Water, um, and whoever ended up winning, Frances McDormand. In mm, right, right, last right, year was right, a great right. actress year. So she kind of got swept under the rug a little bit, and then like Meryl Streep was in, like always. Um, oh, Meryl. Meryl, Meryl. Um, I had a realization yesterday that Mama Mia 2 is just Meryl Streep's way of saying that she's going to be dead someday and we're all going to miss her. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Whoa! <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god, Brian. <laughs> You've said some controversial I'm things kidding. on the podcast, but that was the most controversial. What, an eh about Whoa. missing Meryl Streep? Yeah. You don't get to not miss Meryl Streep. She's I miss okay Meryl Streep post. and she's still alive. <laughs> she sure was, she's okay, still... she was the best part of the post, let's be honest. No, she's not. Hanks carries that movie for me. By, by so much. Honestly. Like, literally, whenever Streep is on screen, I'm just bored. I actually, like... Like, she's good, but, like... It's also because I think her side of the story is so much more boring. Like, I don't care about, like, the whole... Like... I don't think they emphasize enough the whole... The fact that it's, like, a woman doing it. And I don't think that it's very interesting That's watching true. the Washington Post from a business perspective. Like, I'm in there for, like, the journalist part. Journalist part like, a journalism thriller. Mm-hmm. And that's what Tom Hanks's part is, and that's why I think Tom Hanks is like way just more entertaining to watch. Uh, and he got snubbed again. I don't know. Dude, well, the man hasn't been nominated in like 18, 19 years. Dang. He's trying next year. He's got Mr. Rogers. If oh, Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Oh, if wait, Mr. Oh, wait, Rogers... oh, wait, that's some movie news. Did that happen this week or last no, week? No, that was. What? Were the pictures of him? No, the guy died. 
Mr. Rogers died. No, Many no, years no, ago. no, no, Brian, you, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, a stunt person died on the set of stunt person. That's not right. No, 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 no. It was, was like a, a rapper that died doing a stunt the other day. That's oh, not really movie yeah. news. Um, on an airplane wing. Oh my yeah. god, Brian, we're still in the intro. We gotta move on. Well, no, this is more fun. We don't have that much to talk about. It's fine. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god, we're still on the intro. <laughs> I didn't realize well, how long it nothing been. happened this week. It's fine, dude. Just keep going. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> this is the longest intro we've ever had. Um... Did you even talk about Phil the Artist yet? You started to, and then stopped. No, I, I did. I got oh, okay. through everything I wanted to say, but I will say it again. Check out and support For the Artist at filmfreeway.com slash For the Artist. Or if you check out our playlist, it's the only one in the, I think it's the shorts. Films pod. Yeah, Shorts, shorts films, Podcast uh, playlist. Um, so check it we out. we don't make movies because we're busy. Yeah. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, I don't know why I said cheap. It's free. It's free. Yeah. Yeah. Just watch it. Um, it's fun. It's a good time. It takes we, you four minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And you get to, f- you you get to you feel, feel how I, how you feel about it. Can I talk about this? Oh, goodness. Thanks. Um, <laughs> well, I just I just want I just want the people, the lovely people you at home. Log line. Yeah. Sure. You whatever. Pitch. Um. I want the people at home to know, like, if they are going to watch it, to know what what I was trying to do with it. Um, wow, this is, like, this is, a. Uh... Yeah? I can't think of my words. Yeah? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> exclusive. Oh, yeah, exclusive. With yeah, with the director of... of... the artist. <laughs> Jack Hampton. <laughs> and, and... Jack, how are you this morning? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, keep going. For, for, for our, um, for our Patreon tier. <laughs> an interview with myself. <laughs> Are we doing that thing, by the way? Shh, shh, shh. We'll talk about it after the podcast. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I I wanted to make something that was purely subjective, so you could watch it and just based kind of off of your own experiences and your own knowledge and just kind of how you feel watching it, you can decide what it makes you feel and what you relate to. So I made the character sort of more two-dimensional on purpose um so that what you saw in him would be based off of maybe what you would see in yourself i guess wowzers yeah so it's just fun <laughs> yeehaw do you want to move on damn it i'd love to all right let's let's go to imdb birthdays finally good lord we did not talk enough about parks and recreation though yet so we're talking That's about that later. okay it's not a movie so. so, let's move on, Jingle. Jingle. Good Jingle. Thanks. Did you clap, like, for a reason? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to make it easier on myself when I'm editing. So I see a big spike in the audio form, in the uh, in the audio wave, and I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm so tired, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's it's hard, because it, it changes with the it's the Jingle. Oh, that's true. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Wowzers. Yeah, I think of everything. Because that's just what I no, gotta do. Done it like 20 times. I, as a producer, <laughs> this is our 21st episode. Do you realize that... Um, is it really? Yeah. I like, actually got the number right? Yeah. Oh my god, that was not intentional. It, well, last week was our 20th. This week is our 20th. Yeah, so you've done it 20 times. Yeah. Oh my god, that was... Um, that was yeah, do you realize that in a couple of weeks we'll have enough content for you to be able to listen to our stuff for a whole day straight without stopping I can't tell if that was a, you're that really a stupid thing? Jack or uh, we've been That's doing this would do. what <laughs> Just listen, listen to it for all day <laughs> um, thanks Dylan yeah we love you Dylan please support our Patreon please Dylan, give yeah. us money god Dylan you asking call yourself my... a fan but <laughs> asking my friends for money <laughs> yeah Dylan, it's not hard. Just go to patreon.com slash m3 movies. and the birthday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, Olivia. <laughs> right off the bat, I got it wrong. <laughs> Oliver. Oliver. Oliver Jackson Cohen. Eliza Taylor. B.D. Wong of, Who is that? Uh, I think, Jurassic Park fame. He's oh. the scientist. Oh. Um, Kevin Klein, whose name I've definitely heard. I got you, Ben. I don't know who that is. Um, oh, is this guy? It's the Wild Wild West guy. Yeah. I say Wild Wild West. 
that's not what wild, I should really west. give him credit for. Yeah, it was just a wild, wild west. What but is he it, actually in? What should you give him credit for, Brian? Not wild. Nobody should be giving credit for wild, <laughs> wild west. That's all I'm saying. Is What's... that a bad movie? Really? Is it? Brian, be honest with me here. Is that a Brian, bad movie? Have you seen Wild Wild West? No, but I always figure that it was really critically acclaimed. Okay. <laughs> Please continue. Oh, he's in The Pink Panther. Is okay. that a good movie? Do people um, like that? No, people hate that movie. Okay. Well, is, that the, is that the... Um, I was a child. I don't feel bad. Like the original 1960s? Or no, is that it's the, like the 2006 Oh, one. yeah. No, everyone hates that. I was a child. I don't feel bad. Um, I feel like people like the original Pink Panther. It was scored by Ennio Morricone, I think. Ennio Morricone? Yeah. Which, it was? Yeah, uh, which if you're scored by uh, Ennio Morricone, uh, uh, your movie uh, isn't going to be bad. Uh, Shoot! Now i got to check if that was actually Ennio Morricone. Pink Morano. Panther. You're, you you read the freaking I, But Brian, you know me, girl. We got to one person and then stopped. <laughs> Four. Oh, he's in Sophie's Choice. Okay. Zan, 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 Zan McClarnan, Casey Wilson, Jacqueline McKenzie, F. Murray Abraham, who Brian knows. Yeah, he's in Amadeus. Not personally. Yeah, no personally. Amadeus, 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 Amadeus. It's not any more kind of Oh, I don't know. Then I shouldn't have said that. Who is to it? To be fair, it doesn't seem like it would be. He does westerns. Um... Not entirely. Henry Not Mancini. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Worked on Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh. Okay, so he is actually. Uh, Sinead Grimes Beach. Raul Esparza. Dervla Kerwin. Drake. Kirby Bliss Blanton. Darian Kane. Jackie Batten. Jemima Ruper. Amy Bailey. Martin Campbell, James Whitmore, Adrian Houghton, Houghton, and Bob Kane, who you all might know from Batman fame. He made Batman. That's good. Bob That's Kane. Good for you, man. I like Batman. It's cool. Batman's really good. He have pointy ear. He, he shoot that building and he go fly with wing. You know what the last Batman movie Bob Kane saw was? Was that? Batman and Robin. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, poor, poor guy. Oh, man. That's got to be rough. Yeah, I imagine that's why he died. That would be like that would be like if M3 Movies got a, a, a movie made of it, and it was directed by Michael Bay, and I watched it and then walked out of the theater and was shot in the head. I feel like I'd that... I'd almost want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, my God. I just got a thing of movie news on oh. my phone. <laughs> Uh, then we can add to the movie news section when we get to it. All right. Okay. Well, keep it up. Keep it rolling. Look at this. Uh, that's like oh, fairly cool. large. Yeah. No, that's a big thing. Good that's a big that. thing. We'll get there. That's your that's your M three uh, suspense of the day. Yeehaw. Oh wait, there was another thing that I saw today too. Uh, boy, oh, Brian. Uh, ooh, wow, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, there so was another let's, thing too, actually. But that let's one, that one. let's get there as quick as possible and move on to the next segment, which is, of course, new releases. Jingle. New releases, new releases, new releases. They're out today, or tomorrow, or next week, or maybe they're already out. Who's to say? <laughs> Are you laughing at my... I'm laughing at you clapping again. Thanks. Uh, so this week, we got Suspiria, Mid-90s, The Fog, and the one that I really want to focus on, Johnny English Strikes Again. Shh, don't make me talk about Johnny English. Is this the third movie that they've made of that? Of Johnny English? I think so. Oi. Oi, give up. I think so. The, um, listen. Um, what's his face? Rowan Atkinson. I feel... Bad for him, cause he's gotten a bad reputation now. Mr. Bean, Johnny English, he. I like Mr. Bean. It's kind of funny, sometimes. I don't know. like Mr. Bean. Oh, he... oh man. I like Mr. What Bean. have we become? He's Twenty funny. episodes and we're ruined. <laughs> he's funny. Look at it. Look at that face. Look at that face. He's such a little dork. But Rowan Atkinson is actually like a pretty genius comedian. He's really funny, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, watch some of his actual stuff. He's good. Um, I always forget that he's in The Lion King. Yeah, he's uh, Zazie. I was about to say Jafar, 
but that was the wrong. There's a Mr. Bird. Bean Halloween short coming out next year. Oh, good. Oh, oh thank no, God. This year, never mind. Just oh my God, do you remember the um, the seeing as how it is spooky season? Do you remember the David Pumpkins yeah. animated special from last year? Did you watch that? Oh, not the animated. There's an yeah, they made an animated. Oh, God, I don't want to watch it. I never thought that skit was funny. <laughs> I did. I was like, <laughs> I I like it. I think. Oh, David Pumpkins. <laughs> He carried that short. Well, he carries that thing. Like, he's funny, but, like, the dancers aren't. Brian, I was mimicking you. I was mimicking you from, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> oh, well, he carried the post? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the script did. But... It's a good script. I'm glad that this is what... Are you not supporting female writers? Okay. No, I'm not. I just like female writers and everything they do. And then Josh Singer came in and was like, I'm a man, I can fix this. And then probably made uh, it worse. I just, I, Knowing I do... Josh Singer probably made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> what else has Josh Singer done? Uh, he wrote Spotlight. Mm-hmm. Which is like a screenplay. It's yeah, kind of boring. I should watch that. You haven't seen it? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Alright. It's only a Best Picture winner. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad when that won Best Picture. I was so pissed. I really thought that The Revenant had it that year. And then they were like, Morgan Freeman came out and was like, I got the card. Was that was Spotlight. that the La La Land thing too? No, that was the year after. That was, what one instead of Moonlight. Oh right. That one makes oh, sense. Right, right, I'm right. okay with that. Yeah. That's fine. Sure. But um, Spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Um, um, Thirteen, twelve years of slave. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Does the spirit come out this week? I think so. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Suspiria comes out this week. All right. That's cool. Which is exciting. I like I want to I see want, I want to watch it. Yeah. I'm so just curious. You know I just want to see Luca Guadagnino's like just... I think the reviews have started getting better. It's at like 79 They're getting much better. It's... it's yeah. Like people were saying that it was going to be Mother, which it still very well might be like cinema score wise. Yeah. Like I could very easily see this getting like an F cinema score. Mm-hmm. But cinema score, I don't give a shit about. So. Whoa, language, Brian. I don't care anymore. I do want to point out that at this point, I don't care anymore. <laughs> You're just Captain America. That was a really funny joke in that movie. When he says yeah. language, and then he's like, Can't you Cap just I just say language? keep making a joke out of that. It's fine. Um, this um, is so incoherent. It's yeah, fine. Whatever. Okay. You know what? It's chill. It's cool. It's calm. Suspiria does look really interesting, though. Mm-hmm. And Dakota Johnson might be in a good movie again for once. It's yeah. been a while. What, um, Divergence? No. That was grade A movie. Uh, she was in another Luca Guadagnino movie. What movie was that? The Bigger Splash. I haven't no. seen it, but apparently it's good. Okay. Aiden likes it. Of course. Uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I get my movie info. Is it weird? Is it a small indie? No. Oh, it's a small indie. It's not weird. Yeah, okay. Well, I think. Um, very fine. So it's his penis. Not very I will big watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can't have it all. Oh, yeah. Ray Fiennes. He also doesn't have an Oscar. Damn, Brian. Cutting it deep, dude. Yeah, he lost to, uh... What's the guy's name? The guy... He lost to a, the guy in The Fugitive. He should he... have an Oscar. He's had a very Oscar-worthy career, hasn't he? He lost to the guy in The Fugitive... <laughs> he lost to Tommy Lee Jones in The Fugitive the year he was in Schindler's List. Oh, poor guy. That's, that's oh, but Schindler's List was kind of winning everything that year, wasn't it? Uh, except for both actors. Wow. Neither of them won. Neeson lost too. But that one's fair. That's that's Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. Oh, you know, okay. the whole yeah. AIDS thing. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. I see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, man, Schindler's List. What but a movie. Him losing is just false. I don't. I, I'm in <laughs> denial still. He. I mean, yeah. Happened his, before I was born. But. His role in that movie. Like it, I don't want to say it scarred me, but at the same yeah, time, yeah, for like close. about yeah. for like about a month after watching it, every time I saw a picture of him, I you was like shiver a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's a good movie. God, what a movie! What yeah, a movie! It's a good one. Um, Mid nineties. This is supposed to be really literally good. all of my friends that are like really into film mm-hmm. are like just so excited for this movie, and I'm just like, okay, guys, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm excited for. I it. feel like this is like an indie lovers like dream. Is mid nineties? It's like really Jonah Hill, a like 
guy who used to just be like the reformed this fat joke. man. Well, yeah. <laughs> that as well. But also, let's like, not talk about this for a third podcast in a row. Keep going. <laughs> we talked about it in the last. <laughs> yeah, we for this sure guy, did. Like, <laughs> um, who used to be like more or less a joke, uh-huh. and then was only in comedies. Like he was good in them, but he was only in comedies. Adam Sandler. And then he became a drama actor in Moneyball. My Red Stories. And he did um, The Wolf of Wall Street. He's a two-time Oscar nominee. And now he's coming out and he wrote and directs something that he's passionate about. And he got these like skateboarding teenagers who aren't actors to be in it. I'm just like, this is like literally everything an indie, lo- <laughs> in, like, indie movie lover like loves. All right. Like it's really weird. Yeah, all right. And, and I'm, I'm just like, I'm an too. indie movie lover, but I'm like literally the only reason I care about it is Jonah Hill. Okay. I'm just like, I want to see what Jonah Hill has like under his belt as like a writer. Because I think that he's a really funny guy. Mm-hmm. Wait, he is the reformed fat one, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I get confused. Like, I, I could care less about the story or uh-huh. the actors. Like, the whole, like, taking people who aren't actors and making them actors for a movie. I've heard that story so many times. Kind of... is, is that a big thing with the um, people advertising? People are doing it so much recently. Like, with... like, movies? Like, the Florida Projects did it, and that was the first time I really heard about it, like, in, like, an indie level. And, like, a, like... I mean, I'm sure it's happened before that, right? But, like, that was the first time I, like really noticed it mm-hmm. I went to the film I went to Middleburg Film Festival this year this year like three of the movies were like there were interviews with the directors afterwards a lot of them and like three of the movies were like yeah we just went to the streets and got a guy and I was just like okay right. <laughs> <This> is, <Yeah. laughs> it turns out acting is like director's business apparently For I mean I mean they say that not always, the but. um like the best performances come out in the editing room right in the editing so room, a lot of... well, yeah, if you take 50 takes, like, that's it's up to a guy yeah. to watch them all and figure out what the best one is. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but I was like, I'm, I don't really care that much that they were just random skateboarding teenagers. Like, I've heard that story before. I just mm-hmm. want to see what Jonah Hill can write. Yeah. That, I mean, yeah. I'm like... Because, I don't know. I, I, it's I don't cool. Know. Yeah, for sure. Like, good for them. But it's I, a I don't challenge care. for sure. <laughs> 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 um, I put the fog on here, but I have no I idea. Know that is. Neither do I. Um, the poster looked really cool to me, uh, so that's why I included it. I also just in case we needed more time, but we talked about the intro for it's ten remi- minutes. Is it a remake of a movie? I don't know. Is it? Is it? I won't do that again. I'm there's sorry. There's no poster. <laughs> there is. There's no poster. There, the yeah on Rotten Tomatoes. On Rotten Tomatoes, I don't think this is a movie the that fog. exists, friend. F- fend Shut up. you're a coward okay I'm, uh, give me a second the, um, the fog 20 wait John Carpenter's in this movie mayhaps oh it's a John Carpenter movie is it yeah oh oh wait I've heard of this um, I've heard of the 80's one yeah yeah is the 80's one is the 80's one good no it's like when John Carpenter was fa- starting to fall out of it oh poor guy is he still alive? I think okay, here so. we wait. Here we go. Here's the here's the poster. I think he is. Look up the Fog 2018 poster, and it's the second one on there. Take a look, see at that boy. Wait, no! Ugh, dang it! That's the one from that's the eighties. Yeah, Are you sure the, this is a movie? I'm for sure sure that it's a movie. The Fog. It's a 4K restoration. Oh no! I think it's just the old one. Oh man. Okay. Friend. Don't patronize me. I will. Don't you do it. I didn't call you son. Don't you even do it. Brian, I will punch you. Bam. Ah, God, Brian, you punched me so hard, man. You want to move on? Yeah, let's move on. To Ah. hashtag movie news. We're getting it started. That cool new hashtag. (laughs) Uh, Jingle, go. Movie news now, yeah. All right. Jingle. All right. What is it? What was that? All right. That's uh. Just stop. Okay. No, was that stop. Danny from The Shining? All right. Red, Red Rom. Red Rom. Red Rom. <laughs> Red Rom. Um, Bird Box. Oh we. Wait no. Yeah. The movie news. Mo- movie God. news. God. God Jack. Um, Star Wars Nine set picks. I haven't seen them. Uh, I, it's, I mean, I only found it through a screen rant. Uh, article God, that linked to an Imgur picture God. that may or may not have actually been Star Wars. 
<laughs> so stupid. God, did, did that little happen this week? <laughs> This yeah. is what we've resorted to. Uh, and also I saw Star Wars and got excited. I feel, like every, I feel like every other week we talk about like something with Star Wars Episode Nine that nobody cares about. Every other week, Brian? <laughs> okay. I make sure to cram th- something in there every single Jesus. week. Jesus, when does that movie come out? Uh, June. June? July? No, they pushed it back to December 2019. December. Um, which tears my heart to 3,000 pieces, but at the same time it's really good. I think that they're taking a step back from releasing movies every year. Because... When you release movies too frequently, then the audience gets, you know, bored and it starts losing its luster, um, and they become rushed and any choice of taking creative freedoms or risks is thrown out the window. Yeah. Um. Marvel. Whatever. Whatever. Do you want to talk about Marvel? Let's talk about Marvel! (laughs) Netflix dropped Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Yeah. I'm surprised about Luke Cage. Yeah, I feel I'm like I'm not that surprised about Iron Fist. Luke Cage, was, I thought, was like a moneymaker for them. I mean, they don't need moneymaker. They can... That's true. They just but... throw out anything. They'll make anything. I mean, they don't need money, but they probably want it, right? I mean, yeah, but when you account for like 25% of in the world's internet bandwidth, That's... I think you're fine. That's true. How are they not, like, the biggest company in the world? Because of Amazon. I know, but how is Amazon even more than them? How does that make sense? Because they also have... Oh my God, they have Amazon, insane. like, video. They but isn't got even, like, Apple thing. bigger than Netflix? Which is, like, crazy to me. That, I mean, probably. It's not. Apple stupid. was the first business ever. That's false. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> um... Speaking of Netflix, this is something I'm actually kind of interested in. Um, I don't. I'm okay with it. I mean, I don't care. Okay. Yeah. I I haven't watched either. I don't don't care. Um. Anyway, speaking of Netflix, uh, they've backed Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio stop motion movie, which I'm interested in. Aiden texted me something the other day that was pretty funny. I Um, I feel like Guillermo del Toro and stop motion should go so well together that it's surprising that it hasn't happened yet. You know. That's true. That seems like a sort of genre that would be right up his alley. Not even really a genre, more so style, I guess? I don't know. But um, I can for sure see his visions coming more to life with that sort of frequency. But um, Aiden pointed something out to me the other day, mm-hmm. and uh, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. And he's talking about this guy. Um, what's his name? Uh, Roberto Benig- Benigni Ben oh god <laughs> yeah huh those now letters, you, now those you know letters, how I feel those letters don't go together <laughs> Benigni see. it's Italian Benigni but Roberto Benigni sure Benigni Panini, Panini. yeah Roberto Roberto Panini, Panini alright <laughs> he won an Oscar for a movie called Life is Beautiful I heard of that and he followed it up with a Pinocchio movie a Pinocchio movie? It's called Pinocchio. Uh, it has an 11 on Metacritic. Uh oh. Uh oh. An 11. Uh oh. You know how hard it is to get an 11 on Metacritic? How bad is it? The, it almost impossible. <laughs> oh, it's very no. difficult. Wow. What you got multiple how... zeros. Whoa. Wait, let me see. Let me see you know how often people give out zeros? How often? Never. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Oh, that's really bad. If you go to IMDb and you look up that Pinocchio thing, oh. the second picture. Oh, that's really, really bad. That I'm yeah. not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> not that I do anyway. Oh, look at him. He's in like a onesie and has like donkey ears. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. So oh, no. was like, yeah. So he also followed his uh, his Oscar up with a Pinocchio movie. Oh so God, just... Guillermo. Uh, do it right, buddy. I have more faith in Guillermo than this yeah, guy I've never I mean, heard for of. Yeah, sure. Because uh, Guillermo's Guillermo. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited because think... Guillermo won last year, and this year Coran's going to win. So it's fine. Yeah. It's so fun. I, I th- love, like, when Mexican directors just, like, they're all so much better than Americans. It's a cr- <laughs> There's literally only three of them, but they're all better than us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I... Th- I... I, I think, I think too. Not. I think too. I saw something that this Pinocchio thing was going to be pretty, um, you know, in Guillermo style instead of the. Oh yeah, no, it's going to be terrifying. Yeah, 
It's going to be Which absolutely It's going to be really fun. I know. The- <laughs> I kind of want to watch the original, like, right before I watch it. Just yeah. To, like, I, I want to know what that double feature is like. I need, though, from this, a release date. Because now I'm just excited for something that could happen at any time ever. Well, it's net. It's Netflix, so you don't really have to think about... Like, normally I'd say, like, Christmas. Yeah. But it's Netflix, so it doesn't really matter. Like, pretty much whenever they finish it, I think they'll release it. Oh, They're not going to shove it for Oscars. It's Pinocchio. I mean, unless they shove it for animated, if they can Well, it's it, Pinocchio, but... but it's Guillermo del Toro. It's Guillermo, but... <laughs> Friend. <laughs> <laughs> he had, I don't know. He's had I don't one get successful, Oscars, He's really. had one successful movie at the Oscars, so he's, like... I don't okay. think that they're gonna try to was rise Pan's the ship of more successful at I it won foreign, but okay. I mean I gotta watch that. Come movie. on now, that movie could have won picture. It should yeah. have won picture. I've only seen the white man scene, and holy damn! Holy damn! Holy damn! Yeah, it's a good movie. <laughs> it's half of it's not even like that stuff. Half of it's just a Spanish Civil War drama. Yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, <laughs> it's two movies in one. I just love the design aspects that he sneaks in there. Oh yeah, it's in great. every movie, it's yes. so. Uh, he has a great imagination. He, he didn't do Hellboy. Did he do the Hellboy movies? He did. He the did. Hellboy movies. That would explain why they're good then. Yes, it would. Are you looking forward to the new? I, I Hellboy? don't care. Okay. They. Who's, I mean, they released. Doing, is it the same guy that's doing it? I. I don't know. I don't know. They released. Um, oh, the same actor. I mean. No, no, it's not Ron Perlman anymore. It's not Ron Perlman. Anymore. Um, they I released don't a. Care. They released a picture of the new. Um, I haven't seen the original Hellboys. Um, I've, heard that, I've heard from everybody. I watched them good. when I was too young to really appreciate them. Yeah. Um, is David? Oh, Hopper, is, is he? Doing yeah, it? yeah. It's is Hopper doing it? Yeah, it's David Harbor. Oh, okay, okay, I'm interested. I'm interested. I like David Harbor. I love him very much. I think he carries that show. In Stranger Things, oh yeah. It's like him and Millie. Well, I think I. I mean, I think that's what makes that show so strong. I think the story is good, Especially but it's nothing fantastic. Especially season two. I think it's the characters. They're like they're, they're just so likable. They are. They're they just are. So except gosh, for Winona Ryder's. I hate that lady. I love Winona Ryder. Oh Winona my Ryder god, I hate her in that show. I kn- I I could stab you. She's, she's so good. She's awful. She's in that very show. good. Especially <laughs> season one. I think she's legitimately bad in that show. What makes you say that? Every single scene with her is the exact same, and it's just her like shaking. It's just her like, Wah! yeah, maybe because her son is gone and disappeared. Okay, I understand, but she's annoying. <laughs> no, like you're so awful. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I I just I don't think she's like believable. I don't think like, I don't buy her. I like, think she is. I think you're wrong, and I think oh. you're stupid, and I hate you. So there's that. I'm a critical person. I mean, I mean, I guess. But Sometimes. No, you. I have sure strong not. opinions. <laughs> yeah, I think we both do. <laughs> I have strong opinions. I think we're very opinionated. Yeah, people, Winona Ryder, which is good for a good podcast. He's, he's, she's good in the second season. No, she's yeah. better. Yeah. David Harbour carries that show in the second season, especially in the second season. David it's like Harbour's literally all David Harbour. Yeah. Like the other people should like just not be there. Uh, uh, okay, imagine, Dustin. Like, I wouldn't go that far, but Dustin. Dustin's good. Yeah. I like him. What's that kid's name? Um, it's the G. G- g- uh, g- gave, gave. I started saying gave, and then I was like, "That's wrong." <laughs> you know the, the Stranger Things actor gave. I started saying Gabe, and then that was um, wrong. Just keep talking. G- the g- 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 German, German, German Hasselhoff. It. Is it not German Hasselhoff? Um, Gaten Matas. Gaten Matas. Matarazzo. Matarazzo. Yeah. Remember Lucas. Everybody, I feel like everybody forgets about Lucas. Yeah. Because he's not that interesting. Yeah. He's mean. He's African American. <laughs> that he is, Brian. <laughs> that he is. That was a comment. That wasn't anything. <laughs> that was a comment. It was an observation. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna make a comment on everyone's race from now on. David Harbour, man, he was I mean he's he looks good as Yeah, uh, Natalia and I are he's white. Extremely Caucasian. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have to film that show overseas now? Because, like, the one guy, like, just brought coke on a plane. Oh, yeah. He's probably going to disappear into the Upside Down. That's fair. <laughs> Honestly. All right, what's next? We have to go. Yeah, whatever. Because I have to talk about movies from Middleburg. Bruce Wayne, Alfred Pennyworth. Uh, they were cast. Uh, cast for the Joker movie. They're younger. It's really strange how I'm, like, somehow 
getting excited I, for this movie? Yeah, right? Every piece of news that I hear from this movie, I'm I get like, more Whoa. and more excited. It's weird. I'm just like, I shouldn't be getting um, excited. Well, because, okay, Cause here's the thing. Here's the thing. Called Joker, okay. Yeah. Um, the, the Bruce Wayne is, like, child oh, age. Robert De Niro's Alfred Pennyworth yeah. is middle-aged adult, which means it's either going to be a flashback scene, which I hope it isn't, because there are too many flashback scenes and everything. No, because it's the Joker's origin, so it's yeah. like, it's... It, I bet the movie ends with him killing Bruce's parents. That's my guess. Man, I don't know. I think the movie ends there's, with... I mean, there is some... I don't know, in some line of the Batman canon at some point, there was definitely, like, Joker killed Batman's parents and yeah, then became the, the Joker. Yeah, that's the Batman movie. The, oh, it is, isn't it? It's the Jack Nicholson version. Is the Joker who killed his parents? No, he, like, hired someone to kill his parents, didn't he? I thought he killed his parents. No. No, 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 no. I, I haven't seen it in so long, dude. Yeah. I thought that movie as a kid and then never again. It was like Joe Chill. Because it's a stupid name. Nice. Um, but yeah, I'm weirdly excited for this. I don't know. I have no reason to be getting excited about it. Yeah, right? I Everything that we said that was so critical about it still applies. <laughs> yeah, it still holds true. I'm, I don't know. You know what it was that did Why it for me? Why is Todd Phillips doing it? You nice. know what it was that did it for me? It was that one shot that they released from the um, subway guess. where he's walking out and he's doing yeah. his whole Joker thing and he's in the makeup and the costume. That did it for me. And so. like from that point, I was like, okay, I can get behind this. I don't know because I feel, like, I feel like this approach to the Joker is the only one that they haven't really done, you know? Yeah, for They've very had... good reason. I don't know. For ver- he, the, the idea of a Joker origin story, I feel like, ruins Joker as a character. Almost. Like well, the, no, 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 no. At I'm least not, in no, no, previous no, no. I'm not, senses. I'm not, I'm not talking know? about um, origin. Because um, they've, de- they've definitely had origin... Uh, origin. Um, they've definitely had Joker origin stories before. Like Gotham, there's a the yeah. TV show. Um, Didn't they just start doing Joker stuff? No, no, they, they like, started doing they wrapped Bane that whole stuff. Thing they up. just yeah. started doing Bane stuff. Um, I remember seeing the pictures of Bane in that show, and I was just like, oh, okay. I, <laughs> no, but I mean, like, the... The sort of character aspect of Joker, I guess. Um, Because, you know, you you have the original Joker where he's, like, a clown, but he's also still, like, a, "Ah, I'm a villain. Um, And then you have, you have the, the, um, the Heath Ledger Joker, where it's just, yeah, for sure. Where it's just, like, an insane, crazy man who wears makeup and has scars and, like, the sort of grittier aspect. So, like, it's interesting to see a... You know, like, just a guy in... I don't know. I don't know. Like, the, um... Like, a guy transitioning. I don't know. (laughs) I understand what you're saying. All right, cool. I get where you're coming from. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. I I don't know if I would use the word excited, but I'm anticipating it. I am. I'm a Batman fan. I'm a big Batman fan. Yeah. I'm a very big Batman fan. It's kind of hard not to be a Batman fan. I love Batman. Um... I do love Batman. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, Wonder Woman 1984 is pushed back to 2020. Who cares? This isn't... Yeah, it's like a couple months. I made the joke when you told me about this that it's so that in case they have to reboot the entire franchise, they don't waste another Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like... Who knows? Maybe the Joker movie will be the reboot. Maybe that's where we'll oh be introduced gosh. to the new Batman. I'd shoot myself. Yeah? I think. Yeah? I think I'd... Just, and actually... I can see them doing that. Yeah. Now that you say that, I can totally see them if doing it's like that. The, they'd probably do that whole like cliffhanger, like, oh, look at this thing, where like the last shot or is even, like, like Batman dropping scene. down. Yeah. Like, um, I can actually see that, cause, because like, if Affleck doesn't want to do it and Cavill doesn't want to do it, and let's like, be honest, they need they, to reboot. They wouldn't make a major blockbuster movie without the intention of continuing it on as long as humanly possible. And Squad 2 is happening uh-huh. still with... What's his face? James Gunn? Oh, James yeah, yeah, yeah. Too? That's exciting. Mm, well. I'm assuming you talked about that while I was gone. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I, d- I do think it would be okay if they got a reboot. I wouldn't be pissed about I think they kind of need it. They do. They for sure do. I think like they're finding their potential just a little bit too late. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, maybe they well, could salvage because it because they're... they just rush Justice League so fast. Uh-huh. That's they're... their big problem. Like, by, like for Marvel, at least... By the time they had gotten to Avengers, they figured out their formula. That's, it took them yeah. six years. But, like, they just did this franchise where, like, they mm-hmm. did Batman v Superman and then Justice League was, like, the next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they didn't have time to find them, their, like, stride. And I think that they started to, like, with Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. And 
Shazam looks really funny. Yeah. And, like... I will give Marvel maybe credit... Maybe Aquaman is somehow good. James Wan is a good director. I, w- see. I will give Marvel credit where credit is due. I think they did a good job of setting up the universe. I like Which the first is, like, part. it's... I mean, that's what did it for them. That's what made Marvel huge. Because if these movies that they were making now were coming out, then, in all honesty, people wouldn't be interested. It's yeah, just all the build-up that You know, goes they into struggled it. in the beginning, too. I mean, yeah. like, Iron Man 2 is pretty bad. Yeah. The first Captain America is pretty bad. Yeah. Thor 1, as well as Thor 2, but that's a different story. Yeah. Thor 1 is <laughs> pretty bad. Like, a lot of their first Stark movies aren't very good, mm-hmm. but by the time they hit Avengers, they figured out what the hell they were, the, they were doing, and mm-hmm. they just stuck to it for the next, like, ten years. Well, it was Iron Man 1 that kicked it all off. Yeah, Iron Man kicked it off. That was 2006. That was a good movie. But that was, like, barely a superhero movie. I mean, like, it is, but, like, it's also, like... That was was a good movie. It's its own movie. Well, that was a good movie that established ties to other movies and that interested people. Not yet. Yeah, it did. Iron Man 2 did that. No, the first Iron Man. The last scene was... They didn't start talking about, like, other people until Iron Man 2. That... No, uh... What's it? Who's it? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. He was in the first Iron Man. Okay, if it is, then it's in the very last scene. Yeah. Like, the very no, last scene. No, it is. Scene. That's it, why it Iron Man 2 is. is, like, so unbearable to watch, because it's, like, all just, like, there's gonna be a franchise, guys. Like, <laughs> it's, that's why it's so annoying. Like, I'm sure he, he's Look probably in, like, the very last scene. Look at that. No, it absolutely yeah. is. The very last scene. He is, but it still establishes a tie. No, yeah, but, like, that's its own people. movie, is that what it, I'm saying. Like, but that, okay, okay, Brian. <laughs> that interested people to the point of watching more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just got another movie news thing. You did? God yeah. damn. What is I've it? I've gotten like three in a row. Uh, oh, right. We okay. have the other Yeah, we can speed stuff. round these. Uh, so Richard Linklater is uh, directing a biopic on a late comedian named Bill Hicks. I don't know who Bill Hicks is, but I like Richard Linklater. So, I've heard that name. I've heard uh, that name. You Google that while I get yeah. to the next one. Keep going. Um, Martin Scorsese sets Killers of the Flower Moon with Leonardo DiCaprio as his next film. Although Martin Scorsese also has like six movies that he's supposed to make, and the man's like seventy five, so we'll see about that. Um, also, I haven't heard of Bill Hicks ever, so nope. Ari Aster, uh, the director of Hereditary, mm-hmm. uh, his next horror movie is to hit theaters next summer. <gasps> uh, that is exciting. I don't it know is. what it is, uh, and I don't know if anyone knows what it is, but it's coming out on August 9th, twenty nineteen. Uh, the still untitled movie. Yes. It starts Florence Pugh, Jack Raider. Will Poulter in a horror movie? That sounds amazing. I love Will Poulter. I don't... He's the... Uh, he's... How do I describe who Will Poulter is? He's in the Maze Runner. He's the really bad part of the Maze Runner. (laughs) He's the... Okay, have you seen The Revenant? No. Have you seen... What else is Will Poulter? (laughs) This is the portion of the podcast where Brian lists a bunch of movies that I should have seen. He's eyebrows. I I call him eyebrows. Do you know who eyebrows is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Me and Aiden call him eyebrows. (laughs) <laughs> I know, this I know. Guy, well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at his eyebrows. Oh my god, they're intense. Okay, um, he's a good actor. Um, somehow, I, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you want to move on to new trailers? We don't I would have love that to. Now. I haven't watched the trailers yet. So Neither have I. Them. Why did we do this? God. Let's go, jingle. Go. trailers <sighs> all right all right good jingle good jingle did we just jingle we did just jingle oh. um bird box okay a uh, quiet place with a uh, different set shut up different senses it, i think it looks better than a quiet place well i also uh, don't like a quiet place <laughs> Well, it's not that I don't like a quiet place. Like you just don't like a quiet place. We've been over this. Over it was our first episode. It's over. Was it? Did we talk about it? It was, yeah. Okay. Harry Potter, a quiet place, and I think Tully. Uh, we were so young back then, Tully's five a, months Tully's ago. Tully's really good. Um, but Bird Box, yeah. it looks good. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried because Netflix, but I'm also like Sandra it, Bullock and Sarah Paulson signed on to this. Suzanne Beer is really great. She directed a miniseries for, I think, HBO called mm-hmm. The Night Manager. Uh, Tom Hilson, uh, Hugh are... Laurie, and Suzanne Beer all won Emmys for it, as well as Olivia Coleman. Yeah. Um, there are some parts in this that, in the trailer, that look kind of genuinely terrifying, but there are also like quite a few of like, questionable things, I think. 
Like what? the like that first jump scare when they're in the car and it's like a sensor sensor and then it's quiet. The Audi commercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, and dude, Eric Heisberg. Eric Heisberg wrote this. Yeah, I don't okay. know if you understand how. I I do. Brian. The man wrote Arrival. <laughs> yeah. The man wrote Arrival. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I got it. I'm excited. All right. I'll probably watch it. It's free and also going to be on Netflix. So. Oh uh, come on, cat, dude. Same we're cat. doing a podcast. So, if you could, no. just yeah, um, the power of us, the Pokemon movie. <laughs> I like Pokemon. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I'll watch this. I Not like because Pokemon. I dislike Pokemon, but because um, I don't, know. I don't wanna. I will <laughs> find the mood. It, I <laughs> yeah, that, that's really what it is. Yeah, I'll watch something dumb. Yeah, like dumb. Like, Pokemon is like a really dumb kids show that's like really fun to watch if you're in that mood. <laughs> uh huh. And, but if you're not in the mood. But if you're not in the mood, then it's not good. All right. You know, you yeah, gotta be in that anime fair. mood. That's fair. Where you save the world? <laughs> like. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I, that's, I mean, that's it for new trailers. Yeah, yeah, There's we gotta move on because I got stuff to talk about. Yeah, it's 50, so many it's movies to talk in. about. Uh, movies that we've watched. Yeah, Jingle. Jingle now. Movies that we've watched. Don't laugh at my clap. I'm laughing at your clap. Don't laugh at my I'm claps. Keep laughing at your claps. For the rest of M3 history? Yeah, and they're never going to so hear the next two episodes. <laughs> God, I hate college. <sighs> um, don't say that on the podcast. Colleges might be listening. And Duke, they'll be like, oh, this let, guy hates Duke, college. please let me into your school. Duke, please. Um, Duke. Movies that we've watched. Uh, Brian, you've seen a few. I, I went to the Middleburg Film Festival. You want to talk weekend. about three? I'll give you three this episode. You give me three to talk about. And then tomorrow you can talk about the other ones. All but right. you don't get to watch a movie this week. I'm gonna list uh, the six I saw, and you're gonna pick three to talk about. Okay. All right. So I saw Roma. Okay. I saw a movie called Capernaum. Mm-hmm. I saw a movie called Cold War. Mm-hmm. I saw Can You Ever Forgive Me? Okay. I saw Ben Is Back. Okay. And I saw Green Book. Let's do Green Book. Okay. Can you ever forgive me? Okay. And, uh, uh, the, that, uh, um, yeah, Roma, (laughs) Capernaum, that one, let's do that one, Capernaum, yeah, okay, so the two most known ones, and then the most obscure, yeah, okay, so Green Book, Mm-hmm. is a movie that was directed by... I forgot the guy's name. But Viggo Mortensen's in it. Yeah. And so is Mahershala Ali. And mm-hmm. it is... People call it Reverse Driving Miss Daisy because it's about a white guy that's driving a black guy around. Okay. Um, and it's called Green Book because uh, back in the day, if you were a black person and you were traveling through the South, you needed a thing called the Green Book, which told you where it was safe to stay and where it was uh, dangerous. Uh, I've heard of that, yeah. Did um, we talk about that in Hoda last year? We did talk about that in ah, Hoda last year. I know. Ah. I didn't know why the movie was called Green Book. <laughs> and then uh, Hoda stands for History of the Americas. And uh, we both took the class last year. And I didn't That's know why. That's how Brian why... and I met. That's no, not it's not. True. It's blatantly uh, not true. German. German, ninth grade. Yeah. Um, but... Das ist sehr gut. Yeah. Um... Yeah, but I didn't know, I know why it was Rose, called Green Book because uh, I forgot that good. that existed. Yeah. And then, like, they hand the guy the Green Book, and I was like, oh my god, I know what that is. Um, so is Viggo Mortensen the one driving? Or Viggo Mortensen is the one driven? driving. He is uh, a... Wait, so he's not the black he's guy He's a bouncer the at the Copacabana Club in Copa, New York. Copacabana. Um, and he's, like, the toughest guy, like, the, this Italian family, like, the big family, like... Love baseball, love yelling at the TV, like, very stereotypical. Mm-hmm. And Mahershala Ali plays a um, man with, like, a doctorate in psychology and music. And he's a piano player, and he's touring the Deep South mm-hmm. with his piano. And it's, like, about race relations back then, and it's about their friendship. But it's a comedy. It's really, really funny. Yeah. It's really funny. Yeah. Um, and it's just overall, like, it's a real audience pleaser. Mm-hmm. Like, this is, a, this is a movie that will get a Best Picture nomination that I think will can make a lot of money if it's advertised enough. Okay. Because literally, I can't see why somebody would dislike this movie. Oh. I, wow. I, I think it's good for critics. I think it's good for audiences. Like, it's so satisfying to watch just because, yeah. like, they're constantly, like, just against racism. That's so satisfying. Mm-hmm. It's really, really funny. <laughs> like, I... This is a movie that I think can win Oscars if it's pushed. Mm-hmm. I hope it is. I mean, it won Toronto. 
Um, I'm assuming it won Middleburg. I don't know if it did, but it was the closing film, and everybody in my theater loved it. It we like it was like actually because the director and Viggo Mortensen were there. Viggo, yeah. And um, there was like a five six minute standing ovation. Dang. Um, I, I should do Middleburg in the future. You really should. Dude. It's so much fun. It, yeah. Um. But yeah, Green Book, really good. Uh, I think the best shot it has at actually winning something is probably Mahershala Ali because it's a really bad year for supporting actor for mm-hmm. some reason, um, which oh. never happens. Yeah. But uh, this if, year it did. Uh, sorry, if you're so. hearing thumping, that's my pug just kind of wobbling down the stairs. Aw, cute. Go on, Brian. Um, okay, what was... Uh, you wanted one of the other American ones. Um... Uh, will you ever forgive me? Can you ever can forgive, you me? Ever forgive me? Um, that is the Melissa McCarthy movie. Yeah. She plays a woman named Lee Israel, mm-hmm. who is an author. She writes biographies, yeah. and she decides that she needs to make money. This one I want to know your opinion and on. And she forges and, like, makes letters of famous people mm-hmm. and sells them for money. Yeah. Um, and she's very good at it. And it's all... It's really cool idea about how she's like being paid for her writing mm-hmm. but it's not her writing yeah because it's under another person's name and i really enjoyed this movie i it wasn't my favorite of the festival it was i think i put it the lowest out of the movies i saw really but i loved every movie i saw yeah okay. um <laughs> but melissa mccarthy acts the hell out of it she'll get in okay for good. Sure. Good, good, good um good. richard e grant is it's, her best friend he's gonna be in episode nine he is great he is very, very good in this movie. Yeah. Um, I think that he will probably get in as well. Again, because supporting actors so mm-hmm. um, small this year. Um, this was by far the most conventional movie. I, well, mm, that this and Green Book were by far the most conventional movies I saw this year. Okay. Um, um, okay. Do you want to? I'll text you. All right. Um, but Brian got a phone call. I did get a phone call. Because he's a lame loser um, who doesn't turn I very much off. enjoyed it. I think that, again, this is a movie... It's dangerous, because I think if you're not interested in the subject matter, then mm-hmm. you might not like it. But if you are even a little bit... And it's very funny. It's most McCarthy and Richard yeah. Grant. Like, they're very funny people, and it's a very funny screenplay. Um, but it has a lot of kick to it, and it has mm-hmm. a lot of heart behind it. Does this... Okay, I, I was watching the trailer, and it seemed to me like this would be a movie that would be right up my alley. Does that feel right to you? I think you'll enjoy it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I do okay. think you will. Right. Um, I Like I said, I enjoyed it a lot. I think that, I guess, where it faltered for me was that I kind of, like, Pretty I don't know. I, I don't think one. anything really stood out. Okay. I yeah. wasn't like, oh my god, Melissa McCarthy, or oh my god, Richard E. Grant, or oh my god, the screenplay. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, everything here is working. Everything here is good. Mm-hmm. Um, the direction's good. The screenplay's good. The actors are good. But I don't. I think I was just missing that little extra oomph to mm-hmm. kind of kick it from good to great. Okay, I can um, see that. Uh, do you want to move on to the next one then? Um, do you want to do yours real quick? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I guess I could talk about The Shining because I've been watching that because it's spooky season. Um, but I haven't been able to finish it because I started watching it Monday. I got real tired and I paused it and I took a three hour nap. Uh, and then I continued watching it yesterday and still couldn't finish it. And I'm still watching it today and I haven't gotten around to finishing it still. It's a long ass movie. It's a very, very long movie, but it's really, really good. Uh, which I don't think anyone will really disagree on. Um, Stephen King. Well, yeah, (laughs) but, um, but it's just really solid. It's yeah. interesting. The, what do you think of Shelley Duvall in that movie? Brilliant or terrible? <laughs> that's like the main. That's the debate. You can't. You can't. There's no in between. She's either brilliant and she's doing exactly what she's supposed to be, or she's absolutely awful. And well, that's the totally funny thing. That's the funny thing. Is I I'm not in the middle. I just it's can't just hard to pick figure one. out. Yeah. Yeah, it's tricky. Is she really, really good, or is she really, really bad? I think the first couple of times... I've seen the movie, like, four or five times. Yeah, this is the my third watch. The first watching. couple of times, I was like, she's god-awful. Yeah. And I feel like I'm... I'm starting to get more behind it this time. get more behind it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are still certain scenes where I think she's just 
distracting and annoying. Like, mm-hmm. mostly the ones where she's, like, has to talk. <laughs> I think it's mostly the ones where she's just kind of, like, mouth agape, just wobbling. Like, in the beginning. Uh-huh. Right? There's like, one... There's one... When she's actually, like, doing, like, normal dialogue, uh-huh. I think she's just terrible. But when she's, like, in the scenes I with Jack and, like, okay, screaming actually. and, like, that stuff, I buy it. See, I'm the... I'm the, the exact, exact opposite. opposite. All right. Yeah. All right. I Phenomenal. Think when, <laughs> when she's dragging him into the freezer, I, I'm not sure... I mean, it was definitely just a directing choice, but there's... Where she's jiggling the door handle and it's locked. Yeah. That's the weirdest thing to me. It's... Uh, um, yeah. But it's a really good movie. It's a great movie. I'm Indie actually Wired. warming up to it more. And it's not like I didn't like it the first time I watched it. It was just one of those things where, I mean, it's weird. IndieWire named it the best horror movie of all time. Which is questionable. I, just because it's not really a horror movie. I'd question the fact that it's a horror movie. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, if you count it as a horror movie, sure. It's, just, <laughs> it's, it's a fine. psychological thriller. Yeah. It's a very fine line, but yeah. I don't think it's a horror movie. No. I don't know. Um, Alright, should I talk about my last one? Yeah, go for it. It's called we'll Capper Now. Uh, it means chaos in Arabic. Oh. Uh, it is a Lebanese film. Yeah. Uh, directed by this woman named Nadine something. Uh, starring actors who aren't actors. Again, oh. they're people who were just well, off the streets really of Lebanon. Where'd they come up with that idea? I know. <laughs> um, I, this was the surprise of the festival for me. This was my second favorite coming out of it. Wow. Um, Roma being my first favorite, which is yeah, expected yeah. because that movie has a 96 on Metacritic and everyone loves it. And uh-huh. Alfonso Cuaron's going to win director. Yeah. Um, he was um, Prisoner of Azkaban and um, Children, Child, of Man. Children of Men and Gravity. And Gravity. Dang. He won for Gravity. Which I, is stupid. I guess I haven't, I, I mean, I haven't seen Gravity, but that seems like his least win worthy movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. That's okay. Well, Oscars I, I are guess, corrupt and I guess Harry anything. Potter, but like the fact that he know, won man. director for Gravity is ridiculous. Prisoner of Azkaban was in twenty thirteen, really man. Good. Steve McQueen, man. <laughs> Steve McQueen, man. Steve McQueen, man. Steve you McQueen. seen Twelve Years a Slave, man? <laughs> no. You Wait, seen, in what? What you did you say? Twelve Years a Slave? Oh no, not yet. I really want. You to, haven't though. seen Twelve Years a Slave? <laughs> no, no. Jesus, I got to. Oh my God, Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti is in that movie. Yeah. Yes, he is. He's the highlight of that movie I've heard, and that's the only reason I should watch it. I've heard he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Fassbender. You know what else? You know what else? Paul Giamatti was in that I feel like a lot of people forget. Paul Giamatti was in Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, I always forget about that. <laughs> So is Brian Cranston. That Chris Rock joke at the Oscars when he's talking about yeah. how Paul Giamatti's the best. Actor. He's like, last year he's whooping Lupita. This year he's crying at Easy es funeral. It's like now, the second range. time you've made that joke on That's that. range. All right. Um, sorry, I just felt like holding this. Yeah, um, thanks for... Thanks. Right next to the microphone. Capernaum was like the absolute shock for me. I absolutely adored this movie. Yeah. Um, it's my number nine right now on mm-hmm. my list, um, which is very good because I've loved most of the movies I've seen this year. Um, and it's just... It's... Like I said earlier, I'm like becoming more of like a long drawn out movie kind of guy. Yeah. And this movie is Which is so... surprising. You do you like like two thousand one Space Odyssey? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you said that it was a bit too drawn out. Is it a bit too drawn out? Okay. That's misunderstanding what I was saying. Yes, it's drawn out. Yeah. But that's because Okay, so what I say about 2001 Space Odyssey is that, like, so much of that movie is just, like, things rotating in space. Okay. Because he's like, oh my god, guys, it's the 60s, look what I can do, <laughs> right? Which, <laughs> what an idiot, what a stupid <laughs> idiot, why would he do that? Which I understand, and I don't mind it, but I think that, like, it doesn't age as well as the rest of the movie, but I still think it ages great, and I still think it's a great movie. Yeah. Um... You know what's weird that I found out, which is weird to me, but probably not to anyone else? Hmm. The Shining and Empire Strikes Back came out within a week of each other. Yeah. I don't know why that's so weird to me, but it is. Mm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Good times. Anyway, yeah, go on. Uh, but <laughs> this movie, so it's very consistently good, and then mm-hmm. like every like 20, 30 minutes, like it's like a, it's a two hour movie. So every like 20 minutes, there's a scene that just like, knocks you on your ass yeah and it's just so brilliant uh-huh. like they they are still playing in my head like i 
<laughs> like the reason I knew I loved it so much is because I I saw that movie. I got lunch and then I saw Can You Ever Forgive Me and Green Book back to back, like mm-hmm. one right after the other. <sighs> that sounds so beautiful. And <laughs> I was sitting in the interview, the Q and A with Vigo Mortensen, and I was like thinking about Capernaum still, and I was oh. like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's a great movie. Um, it's probably like 10 15 minutes too long okay. i'll admit that yeah um there are parts that are too drawn out mm-hmm. um but other than that that movie just hit me in a way that a lot of the movies there didn't and a lot yeah. of movies i've seen this year didn't which is why i love it so much all right all righty all right cool it probably won't come out here till like april because it's a foreign movie <laughs> <laughs> i'll probably watch it sounds great it'll go to cinema arts uh-huh. That's where they get all their stuff yeah. in like March. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, cool. Let's move on to our final segment M3 suggestions. Uh, yeah. uh, go jingle now, quick, before, before everyone dies. Go. We're gonna make a suggestion for you today, and you better watch it or else. Cool, 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 cool. I have a suggestion. Go for it. I don't have a suggestion. God. Okay, I'll go first. Um, cause I have something. Okay, this isn't this isn't like art related. It's not like movies or music or books or experiences even really. I guess it's an experience. It counts as an experience. Um, <clears throat> but anyone who knows me knows that I really love coffee. Um, so that's art. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, coffee's an art. It's pumpkin not. spice lattes from Starbucks. Is that what your suggestion is? That was one of the most obnoxious things I've ever heard. Especially with the keys. That's awful. That's awful. Make awesome. it stop. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I'm going to suggest this weekend um, I went into D.C. Uh, and I, found, I, I tried this little coffee place called Phil's Coffee. They have a bunch of locations in California. For all you California listeners out there, I know you're there. Um, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. It's, I mean, it's just like it's just a normal coffee um, they have all their, I've, it's just whatever. a normal coffee. There's nothing. Just special. shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Um, <laughs> they have, um, they have all of their like beans and roasts set out before you. So you see it when you go in and then you choose the bean, not, not the bean that you want. Like the very, the, 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 the yeah, one bean. I want these beans here. <laughs> I want that um, one and that no, one. No, you, you choose the type of beans that you want and then they make it right there in front of you, including like the whole grinding process and the pouring and whatever. Um, and then like they put in the cream and sugar for you and when they give it to you, it's so, so good. Like it has a specific flavor it has that they've like defined and put out there so you know what they each taste like. And it's like, it tastes like a latte, but it's just just straight up coffee. It's incredible. It's unlovely. I'm talking too much about coffee on a movie podcast. Are we allowed to talk about food? Yeah. I can do food. Yeah, let's talk, let's do food. For my friends in the area that I live in, Mm -hmm. um... I've been eating a lot at this place called Twenty Nine Diner. You ever been to Twenty Nine Diner? I've heard it's of in it. Fairfax City, and um, um, isn't one of the they they have a sign they their signs yeah, is Twenty Nine Diner, diner and then air conditioning. Yes, which air I find hilarious. It's because it's a fifties place. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a fifties place, and their food is good. Yeah. But like, it's just so nice to go in there. Like, it literally like feels like you're walking into the fifties, and I really enjoy that. It's yeah. a nice vibe in there. Cool. So it's an experience, friend. All right. Okay. Can I leave now? I have to go. Yeah, sure. Let's end this podcast. Wait, we have to do the outro. I mean, you have to do the outro. Because you always do the outro. Oh, so you're just going to get up and leave and I'll do the outro myself? No, I have time. Okay, cool. Patreon.com. Go ahead, support us there. Patreon.com slash M3Movies. Um, we're looking at a podcasting service, a hosting service thing that will get us out there onto the podcasting thing. Oh, Good one, Jeff. Oh, God. <laughs> um... Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so if you if you like listening to our podcast, but it's it's a hassle for you to have YouTube open while you're listening, which I understand it really is a hassle, which is why we're trying to do this, then go ahead, support us at patreon.com slash m3movies, and all of the money that will be going there will be going directly to us being able to, um, what's it, who's it, uh, do the the, podcasting stuff. Yeah, podcasting yeah. stuff so that it can just be audio for you guys instead of having to actually come onto YouTube and do this stuff. Um, for the artist, go ahead, check that out too. Um, 
help us, whatever, filmfreeway.com slash for the artist. That's going to be fun. That's going to be cool. Um, if you want to actually go see it at the festival, um, it's going to be November November 9th through 11th. Links in description. Yeah, sure. God, is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Um, what else? If you if you like this, go ahead, like and subscribe and comment. And uh, share. If you didn't do the same, also still. Yeah, do all um, this stuff. Yeah. We like negative comments too. Yeah, we do. We do. We celebrated our first I dislike. Will fight all of you <laughs> in the comments. Um, that is an open invitation. I it is. Fight <laughs> We have fun. That's not ironic. <laughs> I will fight anyone. Um, also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. That's going to be at M3Movies on both. Uh, we're an easy find. Um, we're really popular. Everyone loves us. Um, also, we have 50 more followers on Instagram now than we do subscribers to our YouTube channel, which is great. It's fun. It's so yeah, if you guys are like somehow listening to this, even though I know you're not. <laughs> Uh, and you follow us on Instagram, but you don't subscribe to the channel. Um, Why? What is it? Come on, dude. It's, it's a really easy. You just click the button. It's not cool. It's just, pretty fast. Yeah, it's fast. We show up easy. once a week in your inbox. Don't worry about it. You hit that bell. It goes a ding a ding ding. You hear about us. I mean, the the bell would be great, but really all we're asking for is the. <laughs> <laughs> like you can scroll right past it in your subscriptions if you want to. Yeah. Just press the button. Yeah, you're gonna see a slug, but that's that's all the fallout you get from it. It's a good it's that's a well drawn slug. It is. Thanks Jenny. Thanks, Jenny, Jenny did that. It's the only good thing that we have going for us right now. Correct. Is this the longest <laughs> one we've ever done? No. Oh what no. was the longest one we've ever done? I think it was last week's. Oh I wasn't here. Yeah. Who was your coward and nerd? Uh Dylan Ramsey. Dylan Ramsey. How hey if it? you guys are still listening, uh, D- Dylan probably will be like an hour twenty I think. Whew. No, 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 no. That was the one with Jenny. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Great. Okay, Thanks yeah, for listening. We're, we're not going to start uh, talking again. I'm Jack. I'm Ryan. This has been Answer Movies. We love your stupid face. Bye-bye. Hey.